Hello, and welcome to another Fly-By-Wire Simulations Ground School episode. Today, we're going to go over the procedures for startup, taxi, and takeoff. We're going to start off by pressing the APU Master and APU Start buttons. Observe the flap open indication and monitor the APU N1 percentage on the lower ECAM display. Enable the APU bleed to start the air conditioning packs. Since the APU generator is available, we can disable external power. Now we can configure the ATC panel. Insert the squat code into the transponder and set the top left knob to auto. Once that has been completed, we can close and lock the cockpit door via the switch on the lower pedestal. On the lower ECAM door page, check that all doors and windows are closed. Check the clock to make sure it is properly set. Select the perf page on the MCDU, confirm that all the data is correct and up to date, and make changes if needed. If you don't know how to do this, be sure to check out our MCDU tutorial. Switch on the beacon light to alert the ground crew. Verify that the thrust levers are idle. Release the parking brake. Push on the brakes and look at the brake indicator. Both brake needles should display 0 psi. Now we are ready to start the engines. On the A320, starting them up is very simple. We just need to observe a couple of necessary parameters. Firstly, set the engine mode selected to the ignition start position. On the A320, it is common practice to start engine number 2 first. Flick the engine master switch to the on position. Now repeat the same thing for engine number 1. For every engine start, we should verify on the upper ECAM the avail message around 19.2% and 1. After two successful engine starts, put the engine mode selector back into the norm position. To prepare for takeoff, arm the ground spoilers and set the flaps. The most common flap setting for takeoff is 1. Also, reset the rudder trim by pressing the round button. Set the pitch trim to the correct setting given in the MCDU fuel page. Check both of the ECAM screens to make sure there are no faults or warnings. Now that our engines are running, we can shut down the APU and APU bleed. Remember to set the anti-ice as required. Set the nose light switch to the taxi setting. During the night, turn on the runway turnoff lights for additional visibility. Perform another brake check. Apply the brakes, and on the brake indicator, check that the both needles display 0 psi. Let's do a flight controls check. Move the side stick full up, full down, neutral. Full left, full right, neutral. Rudder full right, rudder full left, neutral.
set the predictive wind shear system to auto, and set the weather radar as required. On the ATC panel, set the mode to on and the TCAS knob to TARA. Set the auto brake to the max setting in case of a rejected takeoff. As you reach the runway, alert the cabin crew to let them prepare for takeoff. To confirm if you are ready for takeoff, press the takeoff config button on the upper pedestal to make sure there is no blue message on the upper ECAM. Before takeoff, check the brake temperatures on the wheel page on the lower ECAM. If the temperature is more than 300 degrees Celsius, delay the departure. Set the nose light switch to the takeoff position and enable the runway lights. If you haven't yet, turn on the runway turnoff lights. Once cleared by ATC, you can line up on the runway. Now for takeoff, release the parking brake and hold the tow brakes. Push the side stick slightly forward and let the engines spool up to around 40% and 1. Now put the throttles in the toga or flex gate. Announce all the information on the flight mode enunciator. From left to right, all the modes that appear on the PFD. Man flex or toga, SRS, runway, auto thrust and blue. Once you reach 100 knots, announce it and release the forward pressure on the side stick. Once you accelerate it to your V1 speed, announce it. Once you have reached your rotational speed, VR, slowly rotate the nose to about 15 degrees up. Monitor the altitude and announce positive climb. Order the landing gear to come up and put the lever into the up position. Once you feel comfortable, feel free to engage the autopilot. It can be engaged any time above 100 feet ground level. Thank you for choosing Fly-by-Wire Simulations. If you wish to contribute to our development, join the Discord server linked below in the description.